For the ground floor of a new build property, Screed is the most common underfloor heating system by far. This is because it fits really neatly into the build schedule and it's likely that you'll be pouring a Screed anyway. So it's easy and affordable to incorporate the underfloor heating. So here I've got a cross section of the typical Screed system which I'll run through. First of all, a layer of insulation is laid over the concrete slab to comply with building regulations and stop downwards heat loss. This is followed by a polythene membrane which will stop any reaction between the screed and the insulation. It's worth noting that sometimes builders will lay the insulation beneath the concrete, but you want the insulation laid on top of the concrete to create a thermal break between the slab and the underfloor heating system. So it's only heating the room above and not the concrete below. Once the membrane is down, our clip track is then fixed to the insulation and this is what will hold the underfloor heating pipes in place. The chosen screed is then added on top. The type of screed used will depend on the size of the installation. For areas smaller than 50 square metres, a hand mixed screed is the most common choice as it is cheaper than the initial cost of pumping a liquid screed. Due to its naturally more varied consistency, hand mixed screed is typically thicker at around 65 millimetres compared to a pumped liquid screed resulting in longer drying times. We usually say it takes about a day's drying time for every millimetre for the first 50 millimetres and two days for every millimetre above 50. So that's typically up to about an 80 day drying time for a hand mixed screed before floor coverings can go on top. For areas larger than 50 square metres or the whole ground floor of a property, it's usually more cost effective to choose a pumped liquid screed. It's also slimmer at about 50 millimetres and tends to dry quicker. This type of screed is delivered by a lorry and mechanically pumped over the underfloor heating pipe on the day. Clip track will need to be installed at half metre intervals instead of one metre intervals with a pumped screed to keep it secure due to the force of the pumped liquid screed which can push things out of place. Once the screed is dry, floor coverings can go down. With a hand mixed screed, a self-leveling compound will be needed to make it flat enough for thinner floor coverings such as the luxury vinyl floor tiles. Liquid screeds dry much flatter so floor coverings can go straight on top which is another advantage. 